My previous review of the Ultra Lone Peak series of running shoes um, highlights the reasons why they're my uh, shoe of choice for really active pursuits. Um, but what do I use um, the rest of the time when I'm looking for a barefoot style shoe um, but I don't need that level of protection and cushioning that the Ultras provide? Enter the wonderful Shammer Mountain Goats. Um, firstly, let me preface this review of how I've been using the sandals. Um, I like to travel as light as possible when I go on a trip. Um, and having a shoe as versatile and packable as the Mountain Goats is a huge win. Um, my most recent trip to Paris, Taiwan and Indonesia uh, saw me taking three pairs of shoes for three different purposes. Um, I took a pair of uh, Vans era all blacks for evenings and situations where I wanted to look a little bit more smart. Um, ultra lone peaks for the more rigorous activities such as hiking or exercising or if I knew I was going to be on my feet uh, for a really long time. Um, and then the Shammer Mountain Goats for everything else. Um, and by everything else I literally mean I wore these 95% of the time um, on the trip. Um, the, the company was formed um, in Santa Cruz, California um, by a bunch of friends looking for barefoot running sandals and uh, sandals that they could have for everyday use. Um, they're definitely a company that are always looking to improve on their products and push things forward um, and that's evident within their, their range of sandals. Let's get into the features of the sandals now. So my favourite element of the Mountain Goats is the goat skin leather footbed. Um, Shama offers four different footbed options when ordering your sandals, um, depending on which model you're going to be looking at. Um, at first I was a little bit unsure how I would like the leather, um, as my previous pairs of uh, barefoot sandals had both had a rubberized footbeds, um, but my doubts didn't last long at all. Um, my first thought when I received the sandals was how cool they look. Um, they blend in a lot better with normal kind of sandals or flip flops, um, especially because the mountain goats have a thicker footbed. Um, I think the liver gives the sandals kind of a less of a sporty look and more of a just kind of relaxed beach atmosphere which is great when you're traveling. You don't want to stand out too much and, and, and it's just best to blend in in general. Um, the, the biggest plus point um, of the leather footbed is the comfort though. Um, the, the goat skin is super soft but it's really grippy um, and with some wear the footbed has softened even further um, and it's kind of started to conform to the shape of my feet. Um, the only slight drawback of the leather footbed is when it gets wet it becomes a little bit slimy um, for want of a better word. It does however dry quite quickly and for me these sandals are mainly used for walking around town and everyday use so it really isn't that big of an issue. Um, I would recommend if you're looking for a barefoot, uh, a pair of barefoot running sandals specifically for outdoor activities or really active pursuits maybe to choose a rubber footbed just because it will handle moisture a little bit better and potentially be a little bit more grippy. Um, that being said, the, um, the Shammer, the Mountain Goat specifically is the thickest of the Shammer Mountain range. Um, the footbed is 11 millimeters thick um, and it's a super aggressive Vibram sole. Scrambling around rocks at the beach found me feeling really sure footed and confident in the sandals. Um, as you can see from the video here, the sole has started to wear in the places you would expect it to, um, but it's not really surprising given the amount of time I've put on them, um, walking on broken concrete and tarmac um, and just all kinds of terrains. Um, I expect the sole to go on and on, even with reduced grip over time. Shammer again offers various strap options depending on the model. Um, the Mountain Goats have the most robust strap system. Um, Velcro is used on the Achilles strap as well as the strap on top of the foot. Um, this mixed with the adjustable buckle makes dialing in your fit super easy. Um, make sure however when you're ordering sandals to check out their sizing guide to make sure you get the right sandals for your feet. Um, my one criticism I've had of barefoot sandals uh, that I've owned in the past is the strap um, that attaches on the inside of the foot by the ankle. Um, the webbing, people usually use webbing when they make these kinds of sandals um, and it kind of just becomes a jumbled mess. Uh, Shammer um, have solved this problem by making the attachment point a piece of leather. Um, it makes it a lot more durable and comfortable in my opinion. Um, the attachment point on the outside of the foot is still regular webbing um, but I think it's less of an issue in this spot and I personally haven't had any problems. Um, my my one small criticism of the sandal is the webbing between the toes. Um, at first I found it rubbing slightly um, 
It now has softened up with me using it more and more, but personally I would prefer a piece of cordage uh, in between the toes as, a piece, as opposed to a piece of webbing because I don't think it would rub quite so much. Um, I don't know the process behind attaching the leather to the Vibram sole, but however Josh and the guys at Shamra are doing it, it's working really well and it hasn't shifted um, or lifted up from the, uh, the rubber footbed at all, which is uh, quite surprising. Um, the sole is obviously, yeah, starting to show signs of wear, but I think that's completely understandable at this point. Um, now I'm still using these at home on a daily basis when running errands um, and I'm definitely going to be taking them on some upcoming trips in the future here. I highly recommend you check out Shammer's full range of sandals um, over on their website and if you use the promo code PI on the trail 10 you're going to get a nice 10% discount off of anything you order. So um, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, do me a favour, hit subscribe, hit that like button um, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers guys, bye.